All artwork created in this video is copyright Leilani Joy. Artwork may not be reproduced without the written consent of the artist. All rights reserved. Hey there, New Voguers, and welcome back to another episode of Art New Vogue with your host, Leilani Joy. This is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. Uh, how do you guys like being called New Voguers? I think that kind of works, right? We can even have like a secret hand signal where we vogue. What do you think? Yeah? Maybe? <laughs> you guys may have noticed that I am not only wearing a tiny top hat today, which you will find out why very shortly, but I'm also um, trying out a new look. What do you guys think? I was actually in the process of re-bleaching and then dyeing the blue back over it, but I kind of thought this cool, like, weird icy blondy blue that came out of it was so fun that I think I'm gonna wear it for a day. So what do you guys think? I've never been a blonde before and I don't really know if I can pull it off, but it, it's kind of different and fun. My, my boyfriend hasn't seen it yet, so I don't know if he's gonna like it. He's gonna be like, oh, blonde! Oh, I only date brunettes. Oh no. But <laughs> anyways, it's fun for today, especially because I will be taking on another Alice in Wonderland themed piece today, which I'm really excited about because it's possibly my favorite subject matter ever to do. Um, I was recently contacted by a lovely lady named Mary who wanted to do sort of this dark Alice uh, Cheshire cat meets Hello Kitty Lolita piece for her dear friend Phaedra and I just wanted to give a quick shout out and hello to Mary and Phaedra. I hope you're watching and I hope you enjoy this video where I create your piece for you. So anyway, let's jump back down the rabbit hole and create a new piece. So like all of my commissions, I started out by doing four thumbnail sketches to show the client and we looked them over and talked about them a little bit and um, Mary really liked the first thumbnail and the use of the little drink me glass bottle in the third thumbnail. So I decided to combine these in the final piece. So from there I decided to do some quick reference photographs of myself and work from those for the painting. I highly recommend doing this even though they're kind of embarrassing. I'll show them to you guys. Here they are. They're kind of goofy, but um, this way you're not working from copyrighted photographs or spending a lot of time searching for the pose online. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's create my gothic Alice. I'm going to design a few little trinkets that I want to add to the top hat. I decided to draw them separately because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to add yet, so without committing to the final drawing, I can sort of design these on tracing paper and transfer them over. I also want to design a custom playing card that's also going to be on top of the hat, so I decided to use a traditional playing card as a template here with tracing paper over it so I can get sort of the same basic design and then I'm going to customize it and make my own little character out of it. And uh, I liked doing this so much that I was thinking that eventually I'd love to do like a full set of custom playing cards with all my original designs and that would be something really cool so who knows maybe I'll do that. So once I finish these little elements I'm going to probably reduce them in size and then I'm going to transfer them to my drawing. Thank you. 
So with my inking process finished, I've scanned my drawing into Photoshop and now I'm going to start painting digitally. I paint digitally with a Wacom Intuos 4 tablet, which some of you guys have asked me about. Um, it makes it a lot easier and more natural to paint, and um, I suggest picking one of these up and trying it out. Okay, you guys, well, my Dark Alice piece is almost finished now, and before I show you how she came out, I just want to make a few quick announcements that I think you'll be really excited about. First of which is, I'm going to be more frequently updating ArtNouveau.com with artistic tricks and tips, advice, um, inspiration, and all kinds of good stuff, so you can check it out anytime while I'm working on my next video. I know you guys have to wait a little bit between my videos sometimes, and you're like, more, more, we want more, so I thought this would be a great way to give you guys some advice and help along the way while you wait. And also, I'm adding a new Frequently Asked Questions section to my art blog, and hopefully I will keep it running and updated with all the common questions that I get. I get so many questions, that some of them end up being the same over and over again, and I thought this would be a great way for you guys to check in and see if your question's been answered. So you can find that at artnewvogue.com slash 2013 slash 05 slash FAQs HTML. Kind of a lot, but there it is right there. Speaking of frequently asked questions, there's a couple of them that I can answer right now. Number one, are you a self-taught artist? No, I'm not self-taught. I have a degree from the Academy of Art University. Can't you tell? Number two, why don't you ever paint me boys or men? Because I don't want to. And number three, I love the way you paint girls. Will you paint my cat, dog, house, landscape, car? No. I have a great idea for a painting. Will you do it? I would love to, if you'd like to pay me. If you have a burning question like one of these, check out Art New Vogue or send me an email with your question and hopefully I can answer it for you on the Frequently Asked Questions page. All right, so with that said and done, let's check out the final piece and I'll see you guys soon. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Oh, you just wanted to know if we had Alice prints available yet? And we do. You can find them in my Etsy shop along with a larger 11 by 14 size. And you can special order a canvas reproduction of this piece. Just shoot me an email to sales at leilanijoy.com and I can do super large canvases of her, which will be hand embellished by me, and a limited edition of 10. We also have um, the little Alice mini mirrors, and we have buttons, keychains, and magnets of these two. So scamper off and go buy one of those. All right, so go on. Get out of here. <laughs>